Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob from Naples, Florida and from Westlake, Ohio. Dr. Bob, what's the best way to help a sluggish liver? It's very interesting about our practice because we have a chiropractic practice, we take films. Your liver should stop right about here on your body, right by the ribs where they end. If your liver is below that, it probably means you have some congestion going on, your liver's been compromised. I always encourage people to eat at least a half an apple every day, beet fiber, a medium carrot, a couple radishes, and I'm gonna add artichokes to that now. I can say, boy, you were making this big old salad. Well, that's gonna help support liver function. Now, in our practice, we use a product called MCS2 and or Livitrit Plus. Those are either a proprietary blend of uh, ingredients and or herbs that support the liver. You might get, the, or I might encourage you to get Dr. Bob's Guide to Detoxification because it, we talk about the castor oil pack in there. So there's a lot of ways to help get that sluggish liver moving. Very good question. Dr. Bob, I heard you mention mosquito bites often on your videos. What do I take to help them from biting me? That's a really good question. I have learned over time that mosquitoes seem to be attracted to people who don't have enough B vitamins. B vitamins can be depleted because of sugar and stress. Thiamine, especially that particular B vitamin will help whatever kind of fragrance will be released by your body. Mosquitoes just don't like that. So if you're in the woods and you walk with a friend in here and all this flap, flap, flap of them hitting themselves, you probably know that those people have their hands in the cookie jar because they're eating sugar and sugar takes B vitamins out of the body. Now, how can I tell? This is also a really interesting question. If I have a yeast issue, I heard you mention the saliva test. What can I take for a yeast test or for yeast if it's a positive test? I had someone yesterday call me and happened to be a female and she was having some issues with uh, secretions of potential yeast in her lower abdomen and her female organs. So there's a simple test that you can do, and I talk about this in several of my books, called the saliva test. When you wake up in the morning, you put some sputum, that means you spit, in a cold glass of water. The sputum should float. If the sputum sinks, chances are, chances are, you could have a yeast issue. Now we use a product in our practice called Caprin. Well, there's a great book written many years ago by a gentleman by the name of Dr. William Crooks. It's called The Yeast Connection. That's why I learned a lot about fruit. That's why we, one of the reasons we don't promote fruit because fruit just allows those bacteria and those, those yeast organisms to grow. So do the saliva test. If it's positive, you may consider Caprin and or we use Agricept L. Agricept L is a citric seed extract. I personally take 10 drops every day. It helps manage unfriendly organisms. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.